In my previous video, how to make the best smoke grenade on the planet after two years of R&D, I introduced a method for rearming M228 fuses which I refer to as the eyelet method due to its use of an eyelet. In this video, I'll be breaking down that process in greater detail, giving you a closer look at each step. You'll need an inert M228 fuse, my pull cord ignition kit, available at inventionincarnate.com, that includes the ignition and striker compositions, a 1 8 inch visco fuse, and an eyelet punch. Mine's a basic model from Home Depot. The eyelets required are 5 30 seconds of an inch. If you prefer not to purchase my kit, here is the formula. I guess I'll just go fuck myself. Let's begin by modifying the M228 fuse. Start by removing the old time delay assembly. Use a 1 8 inch black oxide drill bit to drill from the bottom until you encounter resistance from the primer cap. At that point, stop drilling, remove the bit, and carefully tap out the primer with a hammer. If you have a specialized tool for this task, I recommend using it. Without one, this method works well enough. If you own a small pistol primer pocket reamer, use it to clean out the primer pocket. Otherwise, the existing pocket is sufficient for this eyelet setup. Next, we'll thread the bottom of the time delay tube to accommodate an inset screw, which will secure the visco fuse in place. My fuse kits include an M4 5mm inset screw and a 2mm hex key, though any compatible screw will suffice. Threading the soft magnesium is straightforward and requires minimal effort. Now let's prepare the eyelet. First, we need to widen the eyelet's opening using a pointed tool, such as a leather punch or similar implement, and gently push until the edges begin to splay. Have you ever put butter on a pop tart? It's so freaking good. Have you ever put butter on a pop tart? If you haven't, then I think you should. I was sitting in the goal is to make the flaps easier to fold back towards the inside of the eyelet. Carefully fold each flap inward until it lies flat, forming a little table. Then use a pencil or a pen tip to widen the hole just enough to create a barbed hole wide enough to fit the visco fuse. Insert the fuse through the eyelet and give it a gentle tug to secure it in place, like setting a hook while fishing. Trim any excess fuse flush with the rounded end of the eyelet. Moving on to the ignition composition. Ensure the potassium chlorate is pre-mixed with the ignition composition. Then take a small portion, approximately the size of a quarter of a sugar packet, and combine it with the nitrocellulose lacquer in a cup to make a slurry. A few pointers. NC lacquer dries quickly, so only mix small amounts at a time. My kits include a touch of methyl ethyl ketone to extend drying time slightly. Alternatively, PVA glue, like Elmer's, can be used, though it dries much slower on the non-porous eyelet and may require heat to dry. Pack the mixture into the eyelet, leveling it with a rim. The total volume of ignition composition should be roughly half that of a BB. Allow this to dry fully. Next, mix a smaller amount of striker composition into a slurry. Using a paintbrush or flat stick, apply a thin layer over the dried ignition composition, just enough to add a subtle tint. The red phosphorus requires only a minimal presence to enhance ignition, similar to the chemistry of a Strike Anywhere match. It. Yeah. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Once dry, insert it into the M228 from the top, press it firmly against the strike plate, and secure it with a set screw. Apply gentle pressure here, over tightening risks damaging the fuse's powder core, which would undermine the entire process. So I put butter on a pop tart. It was so freaking good. Have you ever put butter on a pop tart? It's so freaking good. Have you ever put butter on a pop tart? It's so freaking good. Have you ever put butter on a pop tart? It was so freaking good. Have you ever put butter on a p
To finish, arm the fuse. Use two pins during this step to prevent accidental ignition of the composition. Here's a demonstration of how it functions. Alejandro, Alejandro. I put a wire here to support this helical igniter after it ignites, just because otherwise it would fall down and go out of view of the camera. 